Okay, no. So now, these are my batteries. Sunlight battery. And this other one is family care battery. So, now, guys, let me tell you about this sunlight battery. This battery is an absolute monster. It's a 150 amps battery. 12 volt 150 amps. Now, a little history about this battery. I bought this battery in 2018. But at the point I was buying it, the seller had only just one. So I decided to buy this and I bought another battery uh, of a brand name uh, Powerways. Now this battery and the Powerways battery were both used for this inverter and I can tell you after six months of usage the Powerways battery was out. Completely out. Dead. So now I've just bought this Famicare inverter, uh, sorry, um, Famicare battery. It's a 150 amps 12 volt battery at 10 hour rating. So this is a higher rating battery than the 20 hour rating. Now these two together is giving me 24 volt connected to the inverter and being charged by this monstrous Felicity charge controller. Well, MPPT chart controllers generally are very good. You have Felicity, you have uh, EPVA. If you really want to get the best out of your chart controller, go for the EPVA. So right now, you can see I'm on, I'm pulling about uh, 368 or 350 watts from my solar panel. So I have a solar array of 900 watts at the moment, and they are located on my roof. So I plan to take them off my roof and bring them down on a stand so that I can constantly go there and uh, uh, clean it because uh, in case you don't know dust, particles, debris and uh, dung from birds all of these things affect the uh, power output of the solar array so right now I'm on 533 and I'm charging the battery with approximately 16 to 20 amps so this looks very great so if i'm able to pull about 530 and this is 21 amps now about 550 watts from a 900 uh, watts panel you can see that looks good so and i think that's going to be about uh i don't know what let me see 560 watts from uh 560 watts from a 900 uh, watt solar panel let's uh, do a quick calculation so that will be okay this is 560 over 900 now that's uh, about 62 percent so now the solar panel is just located on my roof and it is uh, pointing in the north south direction so what i intend doing very soon is to bring it down and point it in the east west direction and uh, be able to compare the two so right now according to record the highest have been able to pull in terms of current from discharge controller and the solar array is 22 amps and the maximum is uh, in terms of wattage is at 570 so by the time i bring down the solar array and i focus it in the east west direction i'll do an update and then We'll be able to check the difference so the time right now is uh 10 34 and usually you get peak power out output from the solar array between 10 30 and 12 30. so let's see if we're able to get something higher then i'll update you thank you guys give this video a thumbs up if it's informative to you and uh, a like then also you can subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates on my solar system that is the green energy system renewable energy system okay thank you guys bye for now